folks, gather round for a jaw-dropping tale from the Czech Republic that's stranger than fiction. Brace yourselves because this one is truly a cut above the rest. So picture this, a priest, yes, a man of the cloth, decides to take matters into his own hands, quite literally. Allegedly driven to madness by a tick bite, he goes all in and slices off his own manhood with a knife. I kid you not. The mayor, the official town spokesperson, probably scratching his head, said, we don't know exactly what happened. It was probably a health problem. Well, no kidding, Mr. Mayor. I mean, how many tick-induced priestly self-mutilation cases do you come across? This unholy incident came to light when the poor clergyman was a no-show at a planned meeting. Concerned locals, probably praying for a more straightforward explanation, called in the paramedics. The scene they stumbled upon was straight out of a horror movie. The priest, unconscious, surrounded by a pool of his own blood, and sands his sacred appendage. Talk about a shocking sermon. Now, here's where it gets bizarrely medical drama-esque. The holy man is rushed to the ER, where the medical team not only discovers the severed situation downstairs, but also some other genital injuries. It's like an unholy trifecta of medical mysteries. To top it off, they put him in an induced coma and on a ventilator for 10 days. That's right, a divine coma vacation. The twist in the tale? No one can figure out exactly what went down because our man of the cloth is sleeping through the whole investigation. The vicar general, David Hensel, blames it on a tick-borne condition known as encephalitis, which is the swelling of the brain caused by a tick-transmitted disease. In advanced stages, it can mess with your mind and our priests might be living proof. And get this, the Czech Republic apparently has a tick problem, like a big one. They're racking up 500 to 1,000 cases of tick-borne encephalitis each year. Forget communion wafers, ticks are the real pests in the pews. Now, don't get any wild ideas. The authorities have ruled out foul play. The South Bohemian Police spokesperson, Jerry Matzner, put it bluntly, we are not investigating any illegal actions. Case closed, folks. But wait, there's more. It turns out ticks are causing chaos beyond Eastern Europe. In the good old US of A, tick-borne diseases are on the rise, with Lyme disease leading the charge. New York is apparently a hot spot with thousands of cases each year. It's like a tick takeover and they're not taking prisoners. So the moral of the story, my friends, is when venturing into the great outdoors, suit up like you're going into battle, long sleeves, pants, and a generous coating of repellents. Consider it your tick armor. And for goodness sake, do a meticulous tick check when you return home. The last thing you want is a tiny hitchhiker causing unholy havoc. And if by any chance you find one borrowed in, get your fine point tweezers and extract that bloodsucker like a pro. Who knew a tiny tick could lead to such a divine, albeit disturbing tale? Stay safe out there, folks. This mom is pregnant and addicted to eating chalk every day. You won't believe the shocking details. Check out this video.